Hey guys, welcome back to my Blazers, my GM, and right off, we are getting some familiar faces back and spark an interest back into this team and start winning again. We traded Brandon Davies for Will Barton, and the biggest trade, in my opinion, of this episode is getting back Wes Matthews and along with another expendable piece, the Kepe Udo. But we also give up Tristan Thompson and Aaron Gordon. That that may be giving up a little bit too much. But I have a lot of power forwards. At the time, I had a lot of power forwards. And things just weren't working the way I wanted them to with the rookies. So I did that trade rationally. And hopefully, it doesn't come back and bite me. After that, I get rid of Lavoy Allen, Udo, and the CJ Miles for Tony Allen and Quincy Pondexter. And most of the trades are just to get rid of players that I don't want on my team. Tony Allen, great guy, but we have a lot of shooting guards, so I trade him for Channing Fry since we need a big man. And if you guys remember, Channing Fry and Courtney Lee were both in my first season that I had to restart. So it's good to see those guys back. And not only do we get Channing Fry, but we also sign Aaron Brooks. Our point guard position was honestly really lacking. Eric Maynard is great, but he's very slow in this game. We needed a fast, up tempo point guard, and Aaron Brooks seems to cut the cake. Overall, I think these trades are pretty beneficial, except for the Wesley Matthews and Aaron Gordon and Tristan Thompson trade, because if I would have had enough VC, or if I had that attribute to uh, spend VC to make them just take the trade no matter what, I could have put like a, a one-star player for Wesley Matthews and Udo. I don't know why it was making me give up so much. I had to give up two three-star players. That's ridiculous. But nonetheless, the trade is done. And I brought back, I guess, a fan favorite of the Blazers in Wesley Matthews. I've said this countless of times before. I don't like his jump shot, but to be honest, I tried it, and it, it seems actually normal. In the old version, the 360 version of NBA 2K14, his jump shot is pretty ugly. So is it in 2K13 as well. So I guess it's nice to see them fix small little things like that. But overall, when the game's unplayable, it's unplayable. After choking at MSG in overtime, we had to do something about it. I, I just had to do trades, and hopefully this is one of my last big trades of this season. Maybe we'll do some more before the trade deadline happens, but I honestly don't like trading away my whole team. That's not how I like to play associations or my GMs. I mean, to a certain extent, it's fun trying to get the best players. I mean, that's, that's what pretty much everybody does on YouTube. Try to get the best players. Try to get Kyrie. Try to get Stephen Curry. Try to get Dwight Howard. Try to get LeBron James, etc. That's everybody's main goal. And yeah, it, it's okay to have a goal to get a star player. But when you try to get all of the star players in the whole entire NBA to be on your team, that's when the association gets unrealistic. And I'm not trying to hate on anybody that... I mean, it's your my GM. You could play it however you want to play it. I'm, I can't control you. The outcome of this game was nice. The whole point of trading is to get better. And that's exactly what we got. We got better. So hopefully we keep the better up in the more future episodes to come. It really sucks getting blown out or choking in a close game. So hopefully this either brings more close games and more wins at the same time. But I'm going to go off topic real quick and talk about the famous David Stern. By the time I post this video, it'll probably be February 1st. Probably. So, he's gone. He's no longer with us. Not dead, but that could also be a possibility in the near future. Adam Silver's taking over, and now a new deputy commissioner is announced. Mark Tatum, I think that's how you... I don't remember his last name. I know it's Mark and it's something with a T. He has a nice little pedophile mustache, so... He's our future commissioner one day once Adam Silver steps down, possibly. So let's hope he shaves that when he gets into the NBA because no one's going to want to take a guy seriously with a pedophile handlebar mustache, right? But that should be a long way away considering David Stern was for a 30-year commissioner. So should be quite some time away. David Stern was truly a mastermind for the good and for the bad. I wasn't alive long enough to see him when he first started, but... A lot of people say he rigged some things here and there to make the ping pong balls fall in the right order to get Patrick Ewing to the Knicks, etc. And just, there's so many shady things that go on behind the scene that you just want to blame somebody. Others blame him because he's obviously the commissioner. He basically decides what will happen with the NBA. 
there's been a lot of controversy. He, him making a certain team winning the playoffs, the championship, him making a certain team losing. And just the list goes on the line. The most recent, I believe, from memory was the Chris Paul trade. Chris Paul wanted to go to Los Angeles. David Stern made it happen. But instead of going to the Lakers, they denied that and made him go to the Clippers. And then the most shady one, in my opinion, and in many other people's opinions as well, is the Sacramento Kings versus the Los Angeles Lakers back in the playoffs 2002. A lot of people were calling the game rigged. And I honestly believe that the Sacramento Kings should have went on. And there's always been conspiracies that David Stern has favorites with Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and now Le LeBron James. But you really can't depictate who wins a championship. Yeah, you can make the refs do some bad calls, and those bad calls will decide the game. But in all honesty, it's the players. It's the players who play the game. And although the refs may do some bad calls, it's the energy and excitement levels the players bring that will make them win and become NBA champions. That's just my opinion. David Stern isn't a guy that I would like to hang around with, but he also isn't a guy that I would disrespect. I'm just kidding. I disrespect him all the time. So hopefully Adam Silver's tenure will be something better. It's hard to top that. I mean, it's just, I don't know. You can never expect the good or the bads come out of the next person in charge. But that's really all I got for you guys today. This was a very close game. And we saw a familiar face in Andrew Bynum as well from our San Antonio Spurs series. I really hope this is a start to continue winning in this series because we're not having any luck, really. So this trade should work out. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to be devastated. I will be doing more live commentaries in the future because doing commentaries like this it's hard to do for eight minutes and talk about NBA related topics. So I, I, I just, I know you guys would probably enjoy live commentaries and live reactions more than this. So we do get the win here and I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.